Welcome back to Soldier Field for the first semifinal from the 2009 Gold Cup. The two teams proving from the best group in the Gold Cup, that being Group B, the only group to provide two semifinalists. Well, they meet again, the United States and Honduras. They met for the first time in group play. That was a, in RFK Stadium back on July the 8th. So a couple weeks later, they're at it again, and you know Honduras would be very eager to finally get over this United States team. And we are ready to go. It's a great facility. Christopher, I know you had a chance to inspect things downstairs. What were your thoughts? Uh, the field is amazing. It's perfect. If you're a football player with the weather, you can breathe. It's fresh. It's pristine. It's going to be a good game. Here at Soldier Field, which used to be the home of the Chicago Fire, which used to be the employer of Bob Bradley. Bob Bradley was there from 98 to 2002, and those were the years before they moved to Toyota Park. There we see Courtney Campbell. Interesting story about Mr. Campbell. He was the referee on July the 8th when they met in the group stages. What Phil Harbour did when he came in the 65th minute. Holden takes the corner kick at the near post. And oh, so close to putting that on frame was Jay Heaps. <laughs> United States beating Honduras on June the 9th. This is Goodson. Costly. Great aerial fit. Finally got in front of Marshall. Chavez turns to the midfield. And what a save by Perkins. He got a hand on it and he needed to be there. They see he drives and just slaloms over to his left. Lateral movement right here. He knows what he wants to do. He gets around Pierce. Holden. This will be a test for Donis Escobar. It gets over the wall and Escobar is up to the test. looking for someone open can't quite spot anyone now he'll go to Ching he's got enough depth on it Ching oh it hit the post now you see the cutback he separates himself gets a look right there there's the deflection it's definitely a hundred percent corner obviously hoping to avoid extra time as they did against Panama that's a poor ball by Valladares Rogers as Ching inside, Rogers calls his number, Escobar powers it away. Now Holden, the set pieces are starting to accumulate, and it's paid off for Clarence Goodson. Add his name to the list of players who have scored for the U.S. in the Gold Cup. 45th minute, USA 1, Honduras 0. What a fantastic goal. Now you look at the service right here, the trajectory, the hard run. He pulls himself right in between two, three players, out positions himself, snap header, right by Escobar. And we've talked about Marshall, Moore, all the center backs, Boca Negra, Anyewu. Yeah, real quickly, guys, obviously the minutes leading up to and right after half had been a problem for the U.S. team. That's where they've given up all three of their goals. Follow up after this. Rogers plays the ball in. Holden! Steve, if the U.S. get an opportunity like that, I'll send it down to you more often. Finish your thought. Obviously, turning the tables with the perfect cross from Robbie Rogers, finding Goodson, who had the finish. Rogers takes it. It's a shot in front, and Escobar dives to his left to deny Chad Marshall. Wouldn't that be a story? Both central defenders scoring for the U.S. Near post, far post, different higher trajectory and flight of the ball with four or five multiple players making different runs. And that's been the story for Honduras. Arno lines it up. Oh, Escobar, he had committed to it. He had to reach back a bit to make the save. away by Norales. Holden drives it in and once again Escobar who's getting busier and busier by the minute. Now you want to give Chavez, if you're a Raider, you want to give him carte blanche to move all over the field. Look to utilize his speed and technical ability. Uh-oh. Espinosa. Costly! Oh, what a save by Perkins! Costly again! Blocked by Jay Heaps! Denied on two occasions! A little warning from Courtney Campbell. And that 
Plays in the U.S.'s hands. Oh, it's right in front. Donny Escobar foils Jay Heaps. Crept around the back. Now they have four with Holden, Marshall, Ching, and Cooper. What a top! Yep. Ooh. Played a beautiful ball in, and Marshall just pushed it wide. Quarante as well, just a different type of pace and trajectory coming in. That is good, understanding the moment. Now Ching holds it up. Holden. Oh! oh. Right. Kenny Cooper's onside, and he has secured the United States spot to a third straight gold cup as he gets his second goal in the tournament. They finally break through Donis Escobar. This is another level right here. It starts with Holden, dropping into Beckham, and then they go wide. Quick relay off, back heel from Ching. First time, thoughtful pass, right on a plate. Caviar, and look at the reaction right here from Kenny Cooper to keep it low. Fantastic team goal from the United States on the breakout. Was it offside? It was very close. That's it. Another tough test. Provided by CONCACAF competition, but in the end, the United States find a way, turn it up in the second half, and get the result. Well, it was a huge goal right before the break from Goods. In the second half, they managed every category on the field. They really dominated with their play, their work ethic, their intelligence and movement of the ball. Outstanding second goal as a team in the breakout and a good result for the Americans. And who needs Charlie Davies and Benny Failhaber and Steve Cherundolo and Freddie Adu? This group is going from strength to strength, and they get the result, and they are a finalist in 2009.